Hello guys, welcome back! In today's video I am going to show to you which orchids were in bloom for the month of April. I know I am a little bit late with this video but uh, you know how it says, it's better late than never. So let's start with this beautiful Miltonia sunset. We have uh, repotted together this orchid and uh, she is doing amazing. She has opened all the blooms and as you can see the blooms are opening uh, with the sepals intense yellow and uh, with the petals um, a little bit orangish with some um, purple veinings and uh, some splashes here she's very very pretty and the lip is the most amazing thing ever as you can see she has uh, this very striking magenta color on the lip with a little bit of red here so she's very beautiful and as the flower ages it starts to fade a little bit now um, not all the blooms have the proper size that uh, Miltonia Sunset can have as you can see the blooms can get quite large but uh, these ones are starting to fade a little bit and that is not uh, the normal lifespan of um, these blooms but rather because I have repotted this orchid and when I have um, sprayed with hydrogen peroxide I uh, damaged a little bit the blooms because uh, hydrogen peroxide burns a little bit the blooms. And here it is this beautiful and very fragrant Katla Jackie. Uh, Princess Jackie. This uh, it's actually a no idea, and Dani has named her like that. And uh, until we find a proper idea for her, she will uh, remain um, with this name. Now this orchid it is so so fragrant, and uh, unfortunately the blooms are starting to fade. She has been um, affected by botrytis, and if you don't know what the, this is, visit the link in the description of this video because I have a video and an ebook about uh, this, and uh, you should check that out. She has such a powerful scent. She smells like cloth softener and. Uh, a little bit like lilies and uh, it's smelling so so nice as you can see the blooms are uh, not very large but uh, they open so so pretty you can see all the petals and sepals are uh, pulled uh, back and uh, the lip uh, it's also very very pretty so uh, this orchid in a contest would uh, earn such a nice place i'm sure of that and here we have this uh, beautiful Phalaenopsis, Cassandra, and uh, she has so many blooms, I'm so proud of her. I hope she will branch out some more, I can see some nodes here starting to swell, like this one here. So, um, she's a very prolific bloomer and the blooms are so pretty, let me focus. I definitely recommend you go and check her out for this orchid because uh, she's very very pretty and uh, and as you can see she makes a very very nice display that I am very proud of but I cannot take any credits for these blooms because uh, these orchids I are recently purchased and I am sure next year they will do even better with my care and here we have still in bloom my uh, Miltoniopsis Patricia Marie Linars. As you can see the blooms are starting to fade and the botrytis didn't spread all that much. You can see she already had those spots there and this has developed recently but uh, she's very very fragrant. I'm a little bit worried about this color break but um, I will see next year when she will bloom because uh, as you can see this is the first spike that she developed and the blooms look okay but this one the second spike looks like uh, she has a virus so i am keeping her a little bit uh, separate she doesn't touch any other leaves of other orchids and um, we will see next year and here we have the beautiful miltoniopsis red tide still in bloom still being beautiful and very fragrant and she also has another spike here that uh, it's kind of wait Oh, it's dried up. Hmm. 
Well, better she. I'm more happy she did that because uh, I want her to develop this new growth here and to produce some more uh, roots. She doesn't have a huge root system, so she is recovering. As you can see, she has a few wrinkles here and this... Um, white uh, deposit on the medium it is uh, because of the fusarium fungicide that i use and uh, yeah it will go away soon after i uh, flush the pots truly and here we have my beautiful Miltonidium Bartley Schwartz. This year he has produced only three blooms, but they are so pretty and the fragrance is so, so powerful. It has a very floral scent, but it reminds me of freesias and it's so powerful, so nice. The, this orchid, it is huge, but it was uh, mistreated for a long time and uh, now she's recovering. She's starting to produce more and more roots i hope you can see here i have a root tip there so she's recovering she's so pretty and here we have the beautiful sun call. he's still in bloom still looking amazing i absolutely love this color it's a very rare color on orchids and uh, i can see he's starting to produce some new growth and i can see more root tips there so he's loving uh, this medium and uh, he's responding well to the fusarium treatment and here we have a beautiful tolumna orchid i have recently purchased this orchid from um, secret garden and uh, she's very very pretty the blooms are uh, lasting quite well and i hope she will branch out but she also doesn't have a lot of roots. I have uh, potted her in semi-hydro. As you can see, this is the reservoir. This is a normal cup actually, but um, it's working okay and all the roots will adapt to this new environment. And I hope next year she will uh, produce more blooms because this is the first blooming of this orchid. They, um, I have here two orchids and they are seedlings. They are exactly the same type and I have found an ID for her and I will add it in the description of this video because uh, this tag only says uh, Tolumnia Jairac flyer and uh, I have found a variety of it. Here we have this beautiful Phalaenopsis Harlequin. She is so pretty. The blooms are huge. Look at the size of them. She is amazing and uh, she is producing more blooms. They open a very small size actually and after that they start to grow some more because uh, at the first this bloom was half of the size she is right now and she is producing some more buds so uh, I will have a very nice cascade of blooms. When I have purchased it it dropped some blooms and uh, that is why I have some buds missing here like usually Phalaenopsis do. And here we have this amazing Phalaenopsis Orange Delight. She is very very pretty. As you can see the blooms are uh, a very interesting orange with some uh, pale red veinings and the lip it's the most amazing red i have ever seen on a phalaenopsis she's amazing she this is the first time she reblooms for me and uh, i hope she will give me more and more bloom i love orchids that have this uh, orangish colors uh, in combination with uh, red lips it's amazing and uh, this is the natural color of the lip so she's very very beautiful and here we have the amazing Dendrobium phalaenopsis pastel pink. As you can see, one of the spikes almost fully opened. I'm a little bit sad because I can see I have some damage on the buds and I don't know why, but uh, if uh, I consider that uh, she's a recent purchase, uh, who knows? Uh, maybe she didn't like the transport or there are all sorts of things that can affect the blooms like this and i have one more spike here and one here and so she will make quite a nice show i cannot wait to see her in full bloom she is not fragrant but uh, for the number of blooms she can produce uh, she totally compensates it here we have the beautiful phalaenopsis sogo golden and this color, it's truly the natural color of the blooms. She's so pretty. And she is a little bit fragrant. She reminds me of um, lemons, but it's a very faint scent. Uh, you can only feel it if you stick your nose into it. 
This is the first blooming of this orchid and she is very special for me. I remember I have purchased it about two years ago and uh, she was very sick at that time. She didn't have a good root system and now she is producing a huge spike. I can see the spike is quite thick. So I can suspect she will produce more and more blooms as you can see here. Uh, I don't expect to have a cascade of blooms but uh, this is good for me and uh, here I had an accident and a leaf got broken but uh, as you can see uh, my orchid is not leaning over so I have her for so many years and she's growing beautifully and this is because uh, I have a very interesting maintenance trick for Phalaenopsis to stop them from leaning over and if you want to see that video that I have make sure to check the description of this video because you can have uh, Phalaenopsis growing upwards too if you follow a few easy rules very special orchid. You don't see all that many orchids with uh, white uh, on the lip and on the nose, on the lobes too. Very, very pretty. And here we have the beautiful Cattleya aurantiaca mishma spots. Uh, this orchid has a fungal infection and uh, she was a little bit sick also when I have got it from Luke Orchidian last year. But she produced one single bloom for me and the bloom is amazing. She produces small blooms of about 3 to 4 centimeters in diameter and they don't fully open as you can see. But she produces a huge number of red spots on those waxy blooms so I really like her for that. And the beautiful Lelia purpurata variety in color is still in bloom. This year the blooms are resisting a lot longer than last year. Last year the blooms faded in about two weeks and right now she is uh, going towards the four weeks. So uh, this is amazing. She has huge huge blooms and I absolutely adore this orchid. I have a presentation video for this orchid and uh, I really hope you will go and check that out because uh, she is so fragrant and in that video I made a very nice description of the fragrance and um, yeah huge blooms and I cannot wait to see this orchid as a specimen size with a huge number of blooms. I imagine she will look amazing then. And here we still have in bloom this beautiful Oncidium Pupukea Hawaii variety alba. The blooms are quite tiny and uh, they have a waxy texture to them with a very pretty lip. The lip is uh, white with uh, a very light pink center. The blooms uh, didn't uh, resist all that much but uh, I guess she was in bloom for some time. So right guys this is all for today. If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if this is the first time you are watching a video on my channel please consider subscribing to it so you can stay up to date with all my orchid videos. I try to post almost daily let's say. Thank you for watching and see you all next time. Bye!